Beer and Bread is a two-player game where players are friendly but rival families that live across the river from each other, and every year they have a friendly competition to see who can brew the best beer and bake the best bread, and you need to do both evenly well. The game will take place over six rounds, or years, and these will alternate between fruitful years and dry years. At the beginning of the round, players will seed the fields with a certain amount of crops depending on if it's a fruitful or dry year. During fruitful years, players will be given five cards. These will be a mix of beer and bread cards. On their turn, the player will play one card. Each card has three ways it can be used. You may put it down to harvest the card, and you will gain the crops at the top as long as there are some left in the fields and river. But if you played a card for harvest before that card, you may be able to activate it as well if it has matching crops to the card you just played. So in this case I put down a card which gives me two wheat and one water. This card here also has water so I would get to gain another water. Though I would not gain this rye because it was not on the card I just played. Whenever you gain crops or water they will immediately go into your storage. If you're out of room, you may swap things out, but at the end, any you can't fit in storage, you have to offer to your opponent. The next thing you can do with the card is bake or brew the card. In the middle of each card is a recipe for beer or bread. You will turn in those resources from your storage and place the card in your bakery if it's a bread card or in your brewery if it's a beer card. You will score the card at the end of the game. But note that your bakery and brewery can only hold one card each, so you have to get them out of there once they've been made. And this leads us to the last thing you can do with a card, which is play it as an upgrade. On the bottom of each card is an upgrade that you will slide under the bottom of your half of the board. The symbol here will show you where to put it. Once you play a card as an upgrade, you can also clean out your bakery and brewery. Upgrades do a whole bunch of different things from helping you collect crops to giving you more storage or making certain products worth more points and a whole lot more. Once each player has played a card, players will swap hands. Once each player has played five cards, the round will end. And after a fruitful year comes a dry year. During a dry year, the player will pick up any cards they use to harvest in the last round, then they will draw cards to get them back up to five. Three cards are placed here as an exchange and new crops are put out, but it's a dry year so there's a lot less. In dry years, players do not swap cards, but on their turn they may exchange a card from their hand with one of the cards in the exchange, and the exchange card must be immediately played. Other than that, the dry year plays out the same way. After six rounds have been played, the game is over. Players will calculate the points from their baked bread cards and their brewed beer cards, making sure to add any points from their end game upgrades. And whichever of these two scores is the lower is the player's final score, and the player with the highest score will win.